Joanne here and I'm back at it again with another video so as you can see it's a different setup new vibes new everything and I got my best friend here this is Gio you know what I'm saying it's your boy it's Gio Vaughn aka Gio aka y'all see my videos to know the rest but I'm here with your girl Joanne today and yeah so I brought my best friend from Duke he goes to Duke with me and you know we're about to bring y'all this video today we'll be doing Things we don't like about Duke because, you know, a lot of people think it's all sunshine and all that. It's just good, good, which it is for the most part. But, you know, I feel like this is helpful for people that are trying to decide if they should come or not. So it's good to just be real and say the truth, you know, and if anyone takes offense to anything, I mean, I'm the one going to the we're going to the school, not you. So, you know, like we can say, what well, you know, but yeah, before we get into it. Go subscribe to my boy's channel. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe <laughs> to me, SG Vaughn, with two N's. You know what I'm saying? I be dropping content every Friday at 8. New heat for you every week. And that's it. Social media is all the same. SG Vaughn with two N's. Go follow your boy. I'm going to put everything in the description box so you can go check him out. We have a video coming out together on his channel. So, y'all, just stay tuned. Like, the two of us, it's a, it's a duo. So, y'all need to be locked in with both of us. You feel me? So, yeah, let's just get into the video. So, the first thing I don't like about Duke, this is the biggest thing for me, is the housing. Mm. So let me get into it. So right now, you see the background, you see where we at. This is Duke housing, but <laughs> this is like, this is like an exception. This is like a miracle. If you're like me, right now I'm living on campus, freshman year I lived on campus, like the dorms are not it. <laughs> like they're, they're, they're tiny, first of all. You're sharing a room. Last semester I shared a room and it was tiny. And there was there's community bathrooms. Like why do we still have community bathrooms? Like why is that even a thing? Like I literally hate sharing a bathroom. Like it's disgusting. I'm sorry, it's right. disgusting. Especially like, when the people on your floor don't know how to wash after themselves. Imagine sharing a sink with people who don't wipe the toothpaste out the sink. Literally. <laughs> literally. Literally. Things like that. Like people can't even flush like Literally things like that, like community bathrooms, Duke, like we have so much money or Duke has so much money. Y'all can build dorms where people have like two people share one bathroom. Like, Literally. There's no point for 10 people to share a bathroom. Like I can't do it. That's dead. And on top of that, like this is good housing right now. Like this is an apartment. This is like Duke issued apartment. But I'm going to show y'all my dorm when I do a dorm tour and you're going to see the difference. Like. We're all paying like the same tuition, but some people are living luxury and we, some people are out here in community bathrooms in the, like, no, like I just cannot do it. I just can't. So that's my first thing. <laughs> <laughs> For my first thing that I hate about Duke, I have to say is the laundry. Now, literally. if y'all don't go to Duke, y'all don't know what we have to do. We literally have to charge. First of all, let me start from the beginning. We have something called flex points. Flex points is what you use to buy things on Duke's campus that isn't food points. Food points, you use for food. For food, yeah. Flex points, you use for everything else. Yeah. Now, you have to do laundry using flex points. Now, how do you put money on your flex points account, you may ask? You have to go to a website and add it from your credit card. But, the catch is, the minimum amount you can add is a whole $25. Yup. If I want to do laundry for ten dollars, I got thirty dollars in my bank account. I have to use twenty five dollars and give it to Duke, no matter what. And the laundry expensive. Literally, how much is it? One wash is one fifty. Dryer is one fifty. Like, like and they just, don't work. Like it's not a good. Like it's not like a good wash. Like it's a wash, but it's not like a wash that's like yeah. you need to be. Like why are we paying for laundry? Like we already paid tuition. Wash. Like yeah. Like what? No. No. It's an L. So that's the second thing. The third thing for me is now, okay. This is Duke, right? So obviously a lot of people are very intelligent, very knowledgeable. Everyone knows, you know, everyone feels like they know everything. Mm -hmm. But that's my issue. <laughs> like some students in class, like, you know, like we're smart. Like, yes, people are smart, but like you don't need to talk 
for 10 minutes about something. Like people love to hear themselves talk. Like it'll be a simple question. They're like, well, if we really look at the complexities and how everything's interact, like just so much words for no reason, like y'all need to chill. Just say the answer, get it right and be done. Like people out here trying to try so hard, like we already got in. It's okay. Right. Like, it's okay. <laughs> and it's like, you ask somebody what their major is and they'd be like, I'm majoring in social sciences with an extreme cohort in political extremina, and I plan on doing research within X, Y, Z, and we're like... And we're like, I'm minoring in this, and I got a side... Like, just... It's okay. Chill, it's okay. Chill. We, like, we trust you. You, you got it up there. You're we right. Know. Like... You're right. For the fourth thing that we had about do, I'd say, is the parking. Now... Do has something called the blue zone. <laughs> it's about the furthest part on campus that you can go. And it is next to no dorms. And the thing that Duke does, you have to pay for parking. And the parking pass, you only park in certain different places on campus. And Duke tickets are crazy. And the parking pass is expensive. <laughs> so every, like... It's just like a lot of people don't bring their cars because it's so expensive just to park. Literally. And then you got the freaking parking monitors. As soon as you step out your car and they don't see no Duke tag, <laughs> oh, slip the little parking ticket. Like, slip it. <laughs> what do you gain? Like, like, what? Like, it's just so many expenses on top, like laundry, then parking. Like, parking is expensive. I don't have, I didn't bring a car to campus because, like, it's just too much. It's right. too much. It's not even worth it. It's you not worth know it. me. I'm getting every ticket, and I'm not paying it all. <laughs> so, for my own financial benefit, a car just won't work. Yeah, that was the fourth thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. The fifth thing for me. Um, shoot, what was it? Uh, oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, shoot. What was it? <laughs> okay, my thing, the last thing, which is, like, basically pretty generalize, generalizable. Generalizable? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a generalized general uh, as we go to do but <laughs> we got it up here we got it we, we got, got it proven. but basically yeah um basically this applies to everybody not just the black community but duke is very secluded like there's basically something called the duke bubble and everyone knows it so literally like if you go to duke you're in a bubble and no one really goes out to network with people that go to like nc state or even unc like i wish i i'm about to be a junior and i literally only know like one other person kind of that goes to unc like i just feel like we should be more like going to branch out to people but everyone's just like duke and you just stay in duke and it's just kind of like it's just not enough especially as a black girl and like we're black like we want to see other people like us because on campus there's just not enough you know what i mean so literally yeah. and even if you look at like from the outside perspective looking in I talk to a lot of people who don't go to Duke, but they look at Duke and they're like, oh, y'all always on y'all own thing or y'all act some sort of type of way. But they don't even get to know us. But that's yeah. just like the stigma that us as Duke students have yeah. because they think we act a certain type of way. But really, it's just we're so plugged into the Duke bubble. We have no choice but to talk to Duke folks. Yeah. And especially like with the parking, you don't have, if you don't have a car and all, all those things tie into it. So it's very just like. I just wish it was more open and we were more like, you know, branching out. But I'm going to try and do that. You know, I'm going to try. I've been trying. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm but, saying, yeah. If you go to, a, if you're in North Carolina right now, hit us up. Comment, hit man. us Follow up. Follow us on Instagram. DM us. Do Literally. Heard? Like, we will all link. Like, we can link. Do everything. Like, you know, just you reach know out. I'm a friendly person. You know what I'm saying? You know? we'll, we'll show you a good time. Exactly. You know this actually says, wait, perfect into the last thing I hate about dude. Okay. What's the last thing? There is not an art. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Think about how you're going to word this. <laughs> I'd say on campus, there's not enough. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, an, it's, it's, an, it's just enough. Yeah, it's enough. It's just enough to where you can't say it's not enough. But it's not enough to where you feel like you belong, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. And like, it's like you see the same people all the time. And, like, literally, 
what is it, two weeks into freshman year, we knew all the black people. Literally. Like, you knew everybody. Right. And everybody knew me. Yeah, and everybody knew me. Everyone knew each other. So it was just very, like... It gets boring after, yeah. like, the first month. And then Literally. It, you should not be looking for the next class behind you and behind that one for new black people to talk to. Yeah. That's a problem. That's a problem. Like, you should definitely be able to stay within your class or even talk to even upperclassmen or just you know just more people like we need more more just more diversity <laughs> yes. i should not be joining a class and praying there's someone that looks like me in that class no yeah still to this day even in my high school because i went to i i went to a predominantly white high school it's the same thing i do which you know it's a pwi but it's like why am I still the only black person in my class like right, isn't that right. just kind of like and everyone's trying to say this so diverse like is it really? You know, know what I'm saying? And we understand what the PWI means because yeah. I know some of y'all are going to comment. I know. Should have went to Howard. You no, know no, no. But, but. Like, you know. We're here. Well, so yeah, it's too late. You feel <laughs> you know, we're so, here already. So we're going to talk. Yeah, we're going to talk. And it, that's our experience. So, yeah. You know, watching this, go ahead and go and apply. You know, if you're trying to decide. I'm gonna make another video of the things mm. I like. So right. this is not just like just bashing dude. No, I, there's saying. things I love about it, obviously, but like hearing us, this is a cry for help. <laughs> like if you're black, just apply, please. Like we need you. Talk. We need you. You right there. You, you. just apply. You. you know. And if you need help with applications, my boy just put out a video with his stats. Everything I have a video up about my stats and my essays and everything. So we we're here to help y'all. Like we want y'all. Ask us questions. Literally DM me. I get DMs all the time. So you know, just hit me up. You know. So yeah, I think that's the end of yeah, the video. That's all we got. That's all we got. It's not a lot of things that we just a couple. Yeah, just a couple couple minor problems. Not too not much. much. You know what I'm but I just feel like it was good to talk about it. So people that are you know trying to apply and see where they want to go. Can just know the truth because not every school is perfect. Like Dude. people think Duke is perfect, but it's uh. it's not. It's very it's very good. I'm grateful. I'm blessed. But you know, there's things that could be better. Period. Just a few, just a couple. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that's the end. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Again, go follow my boy on everything. Everything will be in the description box. Um, yeah. Um, yeah guys <laughs> sorry I, I always say yeah guys but yeah that's the end stay blessed stay healthy get active drink your water and i'll see y'all in the next video bye